guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're really just going to be cleaning all these components here. These are all the components removed from the B18B1 head. So they're really greasy and really black. As you can see from the valve cover, this is just, you know, years of oil and grease in there. So today we're really just going to tackle that, get everything as clean as possible, removing as much of the carbon deposits on the head as possible, just get everything nice and spotless so that we can start the whole rebuild process and check if the head is actually flat so that we could just put it all back together and not have to send it to the machine shop. Now we're going to be using a combination of chemicals. One, we're going to be using this stuff here, Simple Greens, heavy duty, uh, I guess the greaser or cleaner. Now this stuff is supposed to be safe on aluminum. So that's why we're using this and we'll be using this with our homemade parts cleaner. I'll show you guys that in a sec. A homemade parts cleaner really only cost me about $35 Canadian to make, which is really cheap. Um, and we'll also be using other chemicals like brake cleaner and carb cleaner to clean all this other stuff. So let's just get started. All right, guys. So here is our homemade parts cleaner. This is just a 63 liter tote and a submersible pump. This pump is probably used for like aquarium tanks and all that. So all this cost me about $35 Canadian, the tote about 10 bucks. And then the, the pump is about $25. And then the brush is just something I already had. So here's our parts cleaner. All right, guys, so here's the head here. Um, it's pretty filthy, as you can see. It's clearly burning some oil before or burning a little bit lean, but I think it's just all burning oil deposits. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put some spark plugs into each one of the holes there so that we could plug it up and spray some carb cleaner on top so that it can help break up some of those deposits. Here's some old spark plugs that I had laying around. These are the old D16Y8 ones, but they will fit in there. We just need the hole plugged up, that's all. And this stuff is working pretty quick. As you can see, it's like, you can scrub it and it's starting to come off. Like you see that? It's just breaking down all that carbon. So we'll give it a couple scrubs, break it loose a little bit. Yeah, this stuff's working great. Start by cleaning this valve cover. All right, as you can see, it's coming out pretty clean just from a few minutes of scrubbing. All right, guys, that's the valve cover. It's all clean now from using this uh, homemade parts cleaner. Um, it's pretty clean. I'm just gonna take it upstairs and probably rinse it off with some hot water. It's pretty cold right now outside, so I can't really rinse it off with the, the garden hose or anything like that, but it's all clean, scrubbed off all that oil. Uh, it's a big difference compared to when it was all greasy at the beginning of the video.
All right, now taking a look at all the valve areas. Uh, we've got most of the carbon off. I used a plastic razor blade to kind of break up some of the carbon that wasn't actually um, um, melting away with the cleaner. And it seems to be doing fine. You just scrape it and then the cleaner will do the rest afterwards, the carb cleaner. So um, that's basically what I've been doing. And it looks a lot better. After we wipe it up, it'll probably be a night and day difference. Just scraping off all that carbon and then taking toothbrush and doing a little bit of a scrub as you can see all that carbon's gone so this one looks pretty good I think we've pretty much cleaned this one up so I'll wipe it up with a paper towel and have a look at that one Yeah, we pretty much melted all that carbon away on this one. It's not meant to be perfect anyways. Carbon is going to build up again once you fire up the motor. But for now, it's pretty clean. As you can see, that's super clean. Let's do a top side look. Like that. So compared to before, uh, which I don't have a picture of because I'm filming, this looks like a night and day difference. All that black is gone. All right, guys, so I've wiped all of the cylinders up. Uh, this one still has some buildup on it. This is cylinder four here. Um, so we were leaking when we did the leak down test in cylinder four. It looks like it's probably just a whole bunch of like carbon and oil buildup on here. As you can see, the valve still has these caked on stuff on here, while the other valves look pretty okay. So this one, that's probably what's causing it to leak air because it's just too much gummed up crap in here. So we're gonna continue cleaning this a little bit more, spray some more carb cleaner on it and scrub it down just to get it a little bit more clean. The rest of them we could wipe down a little bit more. We are gonna dunk this head into the parts washer and just clean all the stuff, but we will remove the valves before we do that. All right guys, so here are the parts that I've cleaned so far. The valve cover, of course. It used to be super black and nasty if you remember. Now it's all nice and clean and now we can actually start stripping this thing and repainting it. Um, well, we'll have to wait for it to fully dry first. The cam caps here, I scrubbed all these things down and it's all nice and clean, no longer caked on with that oil. Same with the valve cover studs, they look brand new. I just scrubbed these things down as well and they're nice and clean. That's all I've gotten so far, it's slow progress. Cleaning takes a lot of time since I don't have like a, a hot tank or something like that. Now moving on to the head. We've got all the carbon pretty much cleaned out of these cylinders here. Um, so it looks pretty clean. We just have to pull the valves out now and clean them. This was the worst of them all. This is cylinder four. This was the one where we were losing um, air uh, when we did the leak down test. So it's highly likely it's still like caked up because you see, look at the valves. They're just caked up there all with probably oil and all that. So we'll remove the valves, then we'll just dunk this thing in the homemade um, parts cleaner and start scrubbing it all down because it's pretty black inside the, the head as well. All right, so what we're gonna do now is actually remove all the valves. Once we have the valves removed, we'll just label them and then we'll clean them later. Look at after removing the first valve, uh, look at all that gunk trapped underneath the retainer. The head, most of the oil is just very old and caked on there. Uh, it'll look so much better once we clean this all out. All right, one additional thing that we had to do is just basically grind down some of these edges here so that it fits. The engine's a little bit tight. So all I did was just grind down this area here. Slight bit, not a lot, as you can see, just a very little bit. And then it'll fit perfectly in these valves now. Like that. Sits right in there now. 
Um, let me show you guys. So the reason why you have to grind it down because this edge here, it hits this when it's all fully round. Same with this edge here. And it'll do the same once you get to here as well in the middle, it'll hit this section. It wasn't such a big deal um, on the intake side, but I guess on the uh, exhaust side, because of this indent here, or these holes, that's why we have to grind it down a little bit. But the tool still works. We're just gonna use it like this after we've grinded it. All right guys, all the valves are removed now and their valve spring and retainers. Everything is clear out now. Now we can actually just start cleaning all the inside here and degreasing everything. As you can see, it's very nasty. The valve seals definitely have not been like changed before because they are very tough to remove and they're very brittle and st like stiff. So they're definitely probably the original valve seals. But that's the progress right now. All right, so this is flipped around now. Just take a look at the seats or the uh, where the valve sits. And there's quite a bit of crummy stuff in there, um, if you can see. So these definitely need to be cleaned out and relapped for sure. So we'll have to do that. I didn't film cleaning the head in the parts cleaner, but here's a couple pictures. All right, guys, here's the head all washed up. I rinsed it up out upstairs with some uh, hot water after I cleaned it in my parts washer. Uh, this, I'll show you guys what the parts washer solution looks like now. Take a look at that. Super black and greasy, but it's done its job. I think I could still clean some more stuff in the solution because I'm going to just rinse it off with water anyways. So I could probably clean the oil pan and all that. But yeah, pretty nasty. All right, now I'm just gonna blow this thing out with my blower here. I'm just gonna get as much of the water and moisture out of the head as I can. There it is, guys. The head is all nice and clean now. I've actually used some fresh oil to lube up certain areas inside the head to prevent it from rusting. And I've also covered it with some plastic wraps to prevent dust from getting on it. Um, next step is probably to clean the valves. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.